Now. Christmas movies. Look at that intermission. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We are not going to look at Christmas movies. All right. We are not going to go to Rotten Tomatoes. I am probably violating all sorts of uh, rules here, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Don't be lame. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, we could do we could do better than that. All right, good enough, good enough, close enough, good enough for uh, <coughs> government work. Okay, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Here we go. We've got. Oh my goodness, <coughs> Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Sixty percent. How can this be? How can this be sixty percent? How can Miracle on Forty Sixth Street, Thirty Fourth, Forty Thirty Fourth Street, um, the nineteen forty seven holiday classic Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street is transplanted to the nineteen ninety? Wait. Oh. Oh, this is a remake. The best Christmas movies of all time. What? Why is this on this list? No, this is terrible. The Preacher's Wife. This is a this is a very 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 young Denzel Washington vehicle. This movie is terrible. This movie is terrible. It is an absolutely terrible movie. Okay, hold on a second. We need to make this more actionable. This is not going to fly for me. Okay. I don't know why this is this this way. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Much better. Good job, Jack. You're doing a much better job. Okay. Um, The Grinch. Um, This was also a terrible movie. No. This is not the TV animated movie. The TV animated movie. No. What is this? What is this list? What is this list? The Christmas Chronicles. Never saw it. Christmas Chronicles 2. No. Love Actually. There we go. Love Actually. Okay. Love Actually. Okay. This is um Okay. I love this movie. But this is a not a Christmas movie. It is a movie that takes place in the winter in the UK. But it is not a Christmas movie. It does not deserve 64%. Krampus. Um, uh... Actually, a very good movie. Actually, a very good movie. But it's a horror movie. And what I like is there's not very many good Christmas horror movies. <laughs> if, if you if you know what I mean. Um, 
but but this one is this one's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to change the lighting. Uh, hold on one second. How about this? There we go. Okay. Ah, all right. Uh, got a little bit of the green back there. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's working. This is this is working better for me. This is working better for me. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, but oh, so uh, Krampus. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Don't know why it has a sixty-eight percent. It is a great uh, Christmas movie. Definitely Christmas movie. Uh, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Um, not a good movie. Not a good movie at all. So, the original Harold and Kumar, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle, is a fantastic movie. Which, um, so in case if you don't know, all right, let me explain. A long time ago, there was a kind of a reboot of the raunchy college comedy in America um, they, that were super popular. They were super popular in the late 70s, early 80s. They tried in the 90s, but mostly failed. And then a little movie called American Pie came out and revitalized the, the college comedy movie in America. From that movie and the sequels that, that it spawned were also a, a lot of other comedies that branched off from it. Okay? Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle is one of those movies. It's one of those movies where it t takes a, a moment of, of American Pie and spins, spins off some of the characters to make their own story that they want to tell. It's great. It's great. Um, and the sequel that came out, um, Go to White Castle, and I don't think it's called Go to White Castle. I think it's Held a Kumar 2, basically. And it's also really great. It's also really, really great. Not as good as the first one, but it's also really, really great. Um, Harold and Kumar Christmas is very, very obviously trying to make some more money. And it's not even by the people who made the uh, who made the original movie, so it's whatever. Uh, Mickey Mickey's Christmas Carol, we could skip that. Uh, Night Before is a terrible, terrible, terrible movie. Um, I'm so disappointed in the people that made this movie. I'm so disappointed. It is such a bad movie. Um, Home Alone is absolutely a Christmas movie. Now, I was joking in the Thanksgiving boarding pass. I was joking. I was joking about how Home Alone was a French movie. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh was a Thanksgiving movie, not a Christmas movie. I was joking. It's it's a bad joke. But it is a Christmas movie. Uh, Frosty the Snowman from 1969. Yes, it is a it is a animated movie. Uh, that is uh no, it's, this one is not. This is not the animated Frosty. This is not the animated Frosty. This is the live action one. This is great. No, this one's also great. This is uh, one that's absolutely Oh no! Wait, no, nope. I take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bo, 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 take it back. Bo, 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 bo. This is the animated one because it's a Rankin Bass movie. This is absolutely um, uh, such a great, such a great um, 
man. Anyway. Uh, Best Man Holiday. I don't know. I didn't see it. Scrooged. <sighs> it's Scrooged. It's dated. Yeah, it's dated. Definitely dated. Definitely a dated movie. I would say. Um, is it a good movie? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway. Uh, the Santa Claus. Um, I think I liked it. Uh, Tim Allen makes his big screen debut with this movie. It also includes one of the kids from Home Alone. I'm sorry, not Home Alone, but um, uh, uh, Home, Home, whatever. Um, so anyway, the the main actor and the child actor, the adult dad actor and the and the kid actor, both star in this movie, The Santa Claus. Uh, you know, actually, I'm I'm gonna make a confession. I'm gonna make a confession. I don't think. I don't think that I saw this movie. Um. Black Christmas. Never saw it. The ref. Okay. Um. This is a good movie. It's not a Christmas movie. And it's a very early Ted Demian movie. It, it's it's it, it's if I remember this if I remember this movie it doesn't know what it wants to be if that makes any sense I, maybe I should see it again uh, Joyous Noel I don't remember Happy Christmas never saw it Muppet Christmas Carol um, okay this is really high this is really high on the Christmas list I would not put it so high I would not put it so high, but, 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 but. 1992, so it's, it's very late in the Muppet, of the Muppet era. I feel like this was like the last, it might have been the last, um, So, okay, so there's, there were these Muppet movies that are part of this franchise in, in the Muppet universe when What's-His-Name was still alive. What's-His-Name? Uh, it's not Disney. It says Disney. It shouldn't say Disney. It's, it's not Disney. It's, um, oh, God, what? Jim Henson. Jim Henson. <coughs> okay, Jim Henson. So, the Jim Henson Muppet movies were amazing, but they were for their time. To be honest, they were for their time. So, if you go back and you look at the original Muppet movie, amazing movie, amazing, amazing, amazing movie, amazing movie. But having said that, um... Uh, I'm trying to put trying to put my thoughts together, but I've also had a really really long day, <laughs> uh, so I'm having to be alert and awake and, and be ready with my words. But it's hard to do that. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day too. So, um, my point is, oh, if you watch the original Muppet movie, 
it's really, really the the director's directing style, the cinematography, the pacing is very much 1979. It is a 1979 movie, and it really shows. It really does show. It's it. it there are parts like today. Today, you could cut half of that movie and, and speed things along, move things a little bit at a at a, at a faster clip. And show it, and show it on, you know, on Netflix as a short, as a, as a one hour short. You totally could, you, you totally could, could, but it's a real tough sell to to show the Muppet movie uh, and full length Muppet movie to kid, little kids these days. Little kids these days, they're gonna fall asleep halfway through the movie, but you should, but you should show it to them anyway. <laughs> you should show it to them anyway because it's good for their brain and it's good for their soul. To watch the Muppet movie. Anyway, so anyway, so so the original production company that made the Muppet movie and and the Muppets, you know, Jim Henson's movie company. They didn't make you know sequels, but they made movies within the Muppet universe. In uh, Muppet Christmas Carol, is the last movie in this universe because Jim Henson, the creator and the the imagination behind this, uh, passed away during the making of this movie. So it's the last one. Does it deserve to be up here? Absolutely. Is it an easy movie to watch? No, it's not. It is really slow in parts. And it's also conflicting in parts. Like there's a di there's a distinct, there's no coherence in some of the B plots, C plots, D plots, because, you know, it's a typical Muppet movie. There's like eight different plots going on at the same time. A Christmas Horror Story, don't know this one. Let us know, don't know this one. White Christmas. Okay, so White Christmas. Um, White Christmas takes place in 1954, but I feel like it is a World War II movie. So I don't know why it says 1954, unless I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, Anna and the Apocalypse. Don't, didn't see this movie. That doesn't sound... Okay, uh, whatever. While You Were Sleeping. Yes. But is it a Christmas movie? I don't really remember. Anyway. But anyway, um, this is one of those feel-good, paint-by-numbers movies. Uh, I liked it. I, it's one of those, okay, so I cry. I cry easy. I cry at the drop of a hat. I'm terrible about this. Okay. So anyway, I do remember this movie made me cry like nobody's business at the end of the movie. Um, Bad Santa. Great movie. Fantastic movie. It is not for children at all, at all, at all, at all. Great movie there. The Man Who Invented Christmas. Don't know. Batman Returns. Um. Why? Why is this a Christmas movie? So here is where I get to complain about this list. Why do you have... So in America, the Tim Burton Batman movies came out in the winter. And all of the movies were set and themed on snow and Gotham City, winter, everything, <coughs> everything's cold and dark, sorry. Everything was cold and dark and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um... Uh, the Bishop's Wife. <laughs> no. By the way, terrible movie. 
it has it has an amazing cast an amazing cast not a good movie happiest season don't know elf yes yes this is another one of those um very safe very um very formulaic Hollywood, American Hollywood um, movies, holiday movies. Uh, they are holiday neutral and it is entirely meant to be a Will Ferrell vehicle. It is entirely meant to be a celebration of Will Ferrell, the comedian. Um we saw these a lot in the Jim Carrey movies. We've seen this a lot in a lot of other movies where the whole movie is basically, hey, what can uh, Will Ferrell do? Let's uh, make a movie. Excuse me. I'm falling apart here tonight. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Anyway, my point is, this is a very, very charming movie. It's a very charming movie. Um, and Will Ferrell is great in it, but to be honest, everyone else in this movie is super fantastic too. And can we have a shout out to James Caan? This is a guy who plays broody bad guy or a cold dude in the seventies. That's, that was his peak in, in the seventies. He was in a few things. He was in a few things in the eighties that were pretty terrible, but but really his his era was this was the seventies. So then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, he shows up in this movie twenty years later. Just shows out shows up and he's a he's in in a very, very charming and endearing role, and he slays. We were just talking about Elf uh, the other night. Christmas in Connecticut. Don't know anything about it. Christmas Carol. Uh, no, we're going to skip that because that's no. Uh, Encanto de Noel. Uh, don't know. Gremlins. Don't know why it's here. Trading Places. Skip that. Better watch out. Don't know. Tokyo Godfathers. Okay. This is absolutely a Christmas movie. A hundred percent. It is one of the last movies by Satoshi Kon. It is also a movie you have to watch in Japanese with English subtitles. Because, because the American voiceover doesn't quite match what what the roles in this movie are going for. It's like a, it's it, it does there's not a quite clean fit in terms of your your image of the character and then the way they sound some sometimes are a little bit jarring so watch it in the original japanese but with subtitles and this movie is fantastic it is fantastic it is such a great you know what hold on one second i'm going to look up i'm going to look up It's going to tell me crackle. Really? Oh, uh, I may be able to rent on YouTube. So let's find out if I can still do it. I can. How much is it? 
It's five bucks to rent. It's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. I am going to put this to my watch later. Definitely, definitely worth it. Oh my gosh. So definitely worth watching this movie. Tokyo Godfathers, Satoshi Kon is a genius, a genius. So again, it absolutely Christmas movie, absolutely Christmas movie, absolutely recommend it. Um, if you are easily emotional like I am, you are going to cry. Absolutely. Oh, and the music in this is is lovely. It's it's so lovely. It's just it's just and, and, and there and it's it's sometimes not nuanced. Sometimes kind of like slapstick, and sometimes very subtle. You have to you have to really you know, he can't fall asleep. Like for example, I I will never I will never recommend this movie to some people because they are the sort of people that will in the movie will look at their phone the whole time during a movie. Um. I don't watch movies with certain people ever because they don't watch movies. Um, so I I watched a movie recently, actually, fairly recently, with someone. Not going to name any names, but I, but it was my sister in law, and I watched that movie with her, and I asked her a question about the movie, and she was like, "What? Like she didn't." she didn't know and I'm like so did you like so and so in the movie like, so and so is in the movie I'm like you didn't even watch the movie did you so I can't watch the movie no by the way by the way this is a movie that she would have seen like several times but the thing is she has the attention span of a two of a toddler <laughs> I love her but I'm never gonna watch a movie with her ever again ever This movie, however, if you are the sort of person who enjoys movies, <sighs> the by the way, uh, uh, family friendly. It's family friendly. It's a family safe movie. It's a family safe movie. You can watch it with the whole family. Definitely, definitely. So it's not. There's nothing. It it, it does deal with some very very dark themes, but there's nothing inappropriate. You know, like I I would feel very comfortable showing. You know. You know, kids, this movie. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, another movie. Absolutely, yes. Not a Christmas movie. Great movie, not a Christmas movie. Rare Exports, terrible movie. Christmas Story, yes, Christmas movie. Great movie, fantastic movie, and it survives the test of time. Little Women, um, not a Christmas movie. Good movie, good movie. But more of a period movie. Edward Scissorhands, Christmas movie, fantastic movie, wonderful movie. Claus, Dunno. Jingle Jangle, Dunno. Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger. This is the live action movie that I. Fantastic movie. Also dated, 1964. So dated and it was kind of slow. And by the way, this is a cartoon. So it's like 20 minutes long. Hold on. Uh, hold on, let me find out. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, 45 minutes. It is, it's a full-on movie, 45 minutes. Um, it, great movie, slow. Uh, Arthur Christmas. I don't know. Die Hard. Good movie. Remember the Night? Don't know. Babes in Toyland. I know this one. Tangerine? Don't know. Carol? Don't know. Meet Me in St. Louis? Don't know. Little Women? No. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. 
Nightmare Before Christmas. Absolutely. 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 This is a great movie. This is a fantastic movie. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How the Grinch Stole Christmas in 1967. This is the movie. This is the movie that inspired Nightmare Before Christmas and all that. It's so great. Such a great movie. Shop around the corner. Okay. All right. So let me tell you a little bit about Shop Around the Corner. Um, this is a charming movie. A very charming movie. But also very, very of its time. Very of its time, I will say. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of things here that make you go, ooh, ooh, ah, would this wouldn't fly today, this wouldn't work today. <laughs> Holiday Inn, no. Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, nineteen forty seven. This. Is a great movie. The problem with this movie, though, the problem with this movie is, I mean, this is this is this is a great movie. This is a great movie. The problem with this movie is, it is overcomplicated. When all kids want is a movie about Santa Claus, which this whole movie is about Santa Claus. This whole movie is a involves Santa Claus, but it's a bit. It's going to be a bit over the head of a lot of kids, if, if that makes any sense. Like, like I, I watched this as a, as a kid. I watched this in college. I had to watch it for like a film studies class. And, and I do remember, I remember in this film studies class thinking we were taking it apart. There's so many of these elements in this movie none of which kids are going to grasp. Like, it's a real snore fest. To, let's be honest, it's a snore fest. But a great movie. But, uh, I kind of feel like this is, this is a, you know what this is? This is a great date movie. This is a great, uh, safe, like, early dating movie. Um... Like this is the sort of like this is the sort of movie you put on when you're in that early phase of dating before you throw on all the porn. <laughs> this is this is that crystalline pure period when both of you are still trying to figure each other out and you you don't know when <laughs> you don't neither of you knows when to introduce a little strange into the relationship so you're just like okay uh, we're still getting to know each other so so I don't want to spook the other person each each of you is thinking so America on 34th Street is a is a very charming safe movie and this is what a lot of couples would would watch that's that's my that's my takeaway <laughs> that's my takeaway <laughs> anyway uh yeah and I and I did really say that. Okay. Uh, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, is great. Absolutely great. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas is is great. But I'm gonna be honest. Most people outside of the USA. Only know Snoopy. And they are not going to understand the cultural relevance of these of these Charlie Brown movies because they've never seen one. They didn't grow up with them. They're just gonna see this these corny old movies that basically to them is just a commercial for more Snoopy stuff. But for Many Americans, especially Americans of my generation, 
uh, these movies, Christmas wasn't Christmas. Unless you have Charlie Brown Christmas. So let me expl- so let me give you a proof proof of that. Apple. Okay. You know Apple, you know iTunes, Max, iPhone. Okay. Apple bought the rights to Snoopy. And the which means they also bought the rights to all of the holiday specials, the TV specials, only watch on TV, holiday specials to Charlie Brown. So they bought Charlie Brown Halloween, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving, Charlie Brown Christmas. That's another Charlie Brown one. Yeah. Um, so they bought those. They bought those. Uh, but... They were only going to make these specials. These are TV specials. They're holiday specials. But they're only going to make it available on their fledgling, very young, very new, very garden, walled garden, extremely walled garden streaming service. Apple TV or Apple Plus or TV Plus or whatever it's called. All over again. Oh, but you know what? That's okay because... I had a lesson. That's really good news. If I can sell a lesson, I can get a lesson. So that's why I took a break. But we're only going to take a break. We're, I'm, I'm only going to do this for... Um, I'm only going to do this for like... Uh, 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 10 more minutes. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's skip talking about... Uh, oh, uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. I have to, I have to explain the thing about... about um, uh, Apple TV. I totally forgot. I have to explain about uh, uh, Apple TV, and and people are calling me on Skype again. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, so I have to explain about Apple TV. Okay. So Apple bought the rights to Charlie Brown, and this was a staple. This was a incredibly important to have these Charlie Brown specials during the holidays. It's it's what makes my generation at least feel like the holidays are here. When we can watch the special, and, and we did it old school TV, like we couldn't just stream it. You had, to, you had to be in front of a TV at a certain time and turn it on, okay? And uh, so, anyway, so Apple bought it and they only, they only made these specials available for streaming on... They're in their walled garden. You had to subscribe to Apple TV. And the thing is, nobody has Apple TV. I mean, this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, no, no, it's nothing. So this was, and this was a big move to try to get people to buy into, you know, Apple TV and get more subscribers and whatnot. But this was just, this was just, this was just nonsense. This is, this is low, really low. Uh, they realized this. When the first holiday special, the Halloween one, came by, and people were like, "Wait, it's not on TV! Like, when when is it on?" And 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 like, you know, that to Google, like, when is it showing in my on my TV on my where I, where I am? And and Google was like, "No, you gotta, no, you gotta, um, you gotta subscribe to Apple Plus." And people were like, what's an Apple Plus? What's that? What is that? I don't know what that is. And so Apple realized, oh, no, this was a, this was a bad idea. So so they made it available on, on PBS, on public access TV. They made the, uh, the Thanksgiving and the Christmas special available. So they kind of saved themselves a little bit with that. But now you can watch it. But, you can, but, you, but if, you're, if you subscribe to Apple TV, you can watch it anytime. Which is wrong. You can't watch these specials whenever you want. You can only watch. That's why they're called specials. They're special. Anyway. This is a debacle. This is a huge debacle. Anyway. That brings us to number one. I completely agree with this number one. Completely agree. It's a wonderful life. Frank Capra. Frank Capra at his peak. At his peak Capra-ness. His peak 
socialism and every manism um surprisingly surprisingly um holds up holds up uh it is a very dark movie i i just saw this recently and it is a, or a lot where i saw it last year actually i watched it last year it is a very dark movie not in terms of well it's dark dark it is kind of dark i mean it's, it's kind of a grim movie but um it's not just about i don't mean dark as in like the the storytelling like the plot's dark but the but the visuals are dark it is a very black shades of gray movie for a movie that's all about the holidays really um great movie though great movie fantastic movie number 1 absolutely it's got Donna Reed, who, oh, fantastic. Lionel Barrymore as the banker. Great banker. Great, I mean, oh, so fantastic. Such a fantastic, oh my gosh. This is such a great movie. Anyway, well, that's going to be uh, the stream. So I came back just to finish my thought on Charlie Brown and the whole Apple fiasco and talk up It's a Wonderful Life. If I had to choose one movie, one movie to watch for Christmas, and I can only watch that one movie, it is, of course, Christmas Vacation. You thought I was going to say It's a Wonderful Life, but I didn't. Ha ha ha. Even though It's a Wonderful Life, it should rank higher than Christmas, Christmas Vacation. Crapper's full. Anyway, um, no, it's it's really good. It it is, it is peak Chevy Chase. Um, right when he has a real chip on his shoulder, he was impossible to work with in this movie. Apparently, impossible to work with this in this movie. He. He he made it. He did. He sabotaged this movie as many times as he could, just to be Chevy Chase. He's got problems, you know. Um, but but it ends up becoming a very endearing movie. It's a very charming movie, and it is a very early Randy Quaid. It's we're introduced to Randy Quaid's character, who becomes his own movie, and he becomes. The actor becomes a caricature of himself. He's gone completely, completely just, he's lost it. He's just completely lost it. And now people wonder if it's drugs, if it was a undiagnosed mental illness that was exacerbated over time or a combination of, of things. So it's, it's, it's kind of sad. Anyway, I'm going to stop uh, sharing the screen because we don't need to do it anymore. Great movie. Oh my gosh. It's a fantastic movie. But I ended, I ended up not playing any games. Um, cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm going to put a final comment. Uh, well, uh, ending, ending this stream, having uh uh made a case for uh the number one movie uh christmas movie uh movie it's not a uh, christmas vacation but it should be even though I made the list. Done. Done, done, done. We are finished with that. Fantastic. Excellent. Um, and I think oh, two more minutes left to the stream, guys. Hold the phone. Hold the phones.
Okay, let's not let's not make too much noise before I finish. Oh. Yep, that's it. Uh, that's got enough time to stop. I'm yeah, I've been doing this whole thing. We are so close to being finished. Hold on one second. We are so close. Let me just fire this up one more time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That does not bowl on there. That does not bowl on there. That does bowl on there. That uh, bowl on is there. Oh my gosh. That should be, should be there. That should be there. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I think that, I think we're good. Let me double check one last thing. Um, nope, that's done. That's done. Oh, my good. Uh, I already have that. Okay, hold on. Okay, I've got, I've got that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's good. Done. Done. I think I think we're done. I checked all my messages. I crossed all my, dotted all my T's and crossed all my I's. Um, I think that, I think we are good with that. Um, uh, let's see how we do. Okay, I guess I can stop with that. Okay, that's fantastic. That's good. Finish with that. Okay, fantastical. I guess I can finish that. Um, let me check one last thing. Before I get carried away. Just super fast. Before I get too carried away, let me check a thing. Oh my goodness, me, oh my. This is so, so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna be super crazy busy tomorrow. Super crazy busy, but it'll be fun. It'll be good times. I might actually, oh, I might actually stream tomorrow. I might actually stream tomorrow. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I might actually be streaming tomorrow. No, no guarantees, no guarantees, but I might be streaming tomorrow. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. But I'm going to, I'm a busy, I'm a busy boy tomorrow. Um, uh, one, two, three, three. Oh yeah, it's, it's back to, oh, but I finished at 10. Six to 10? Sure. Six to 10? Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, good. I like, I kind of like schedules like that. I do. I kind of like schedules like that. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to get off the stream. I've said my say, I've said what I had to say. I've said my piece. I've said my piece. So having said my piece, having said all that good stuff, I'm going to get off the stream. Okay. And I'm going to, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to download and I'm going to patch things, stitch things together and, and load this back up. And then that'll be, that'll be that. That'll be the show. Uh, sometimes I'm just wasting time. So do do do. Bye.